Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. So, it is Saturday. I keep having to check the days. I'm sure I'm not the only one that keeps having to check the days. It's that. But have they started calling it now Twixmas? It's just the time between Christmas and New Year. And um, tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So, it's Saturday. Um, we have... Books. we've kind of said a little bit about it in yesterday's vlog um but we've booked to go to see the panto this afternoon over in eden court in inverness um we've booked a sleeping beauty I booked it a little while back it's something that i've wanted to do or we've wanted to do with kids for absolutely ages um but we've just not really been able to um obviously taking 14 of us anywhere costs a lot more than just taking two or four people anywhere so you know everything we do is kind of supersized um and it's just not really been possible before to be honest and things other things have always got in the way or not got in the way but you know other things we've just been busy with other things um and then when it comes round to it sometimes we've thought oh it'd be really nice to go to the panto but by the time you thought about it you know you can't book um, for that many people all at the same time you have to kind of get in there early so if we want to do anything like that and we all want to sit together obviously we need to book it a lot earlier because um, you might get sort of you might be lucky enough to get two seats or four seats or something like that but 14 seats all in the same place um, it's not very easy to get so we booked it a while back managed to get some quite good seats um, I've never been to Eden Court in Inverness in Inverness in, in, in Inverness I've never been um the girls some of the girls have been olivia went last year with um with the dance team um and i think the older twins have been before with school it's primary school so back a few years back um so they've kind of been over to eden court but yeah we've never been over um so we're really excited so again it's the little ones don't really know what panto is. I've tried to explain to them, and obviously they've taken part in in dance shows and everything like that with um with Zara, but that's taking part in it rather than sitting and, and viewing it. And that's it's not over like Eden Court's quite a big theatre. Um so yeah, trying to explain to them where we're going has not been all that easy because they're just like, So is it like is it like the cinema? And I'm like, Well, it's a little bit like the cinema. But, you know, it's like, well, is it like TV? And I'm like, well, no, it's really difficult. It's really difficult to try and explain to them what Panto is. Um, so anyway, they're very excited. I think we do, um, I was thinking about this the other day, and we do, obviously, some things are surprises for the kids, but we do kind of tell them what we're doing, and we do discuss things with them. But I do tend to, I've always, I hold back a little bit because and I know I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing to be honest but I don't like to see them get let down for any reason you know you don't especially living up here if something could happen on the roads we might not be able to get through to Inverness anything like that I think I'm I don't know maybe it's just my cynical self a little bit but I I always kind of I don't go over the top when telling them that we're doing something or or I'll wait until the last minute to tell them rather than sort of telling them six months in advance that we're going to go and do something and sometimes I see people um especially on social media and stuff really gearing kids up and stuff and we're going to do this and we're going to go here and um in six months time we're going to go to wherever and I kind of sometimes feel a bit guilty because I think maybe I ought to do that with the kids but then equally like I said I don't like seeing them get let down for any reason that something might happen. So I tend to leave it, I leave things till the last minute and then kind of tell them when I know that everything is definitely, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's because in the past things have happened and I know how disappointed I've been when things have not happened in the end or um, something that you've arranged falls through or those sorts of things. So I do tend to leave things till the last minute. Um, so they did know they were going, but we kind of, it, we were a bit vague about it but the last couple of days we've been like you know this is where we're going this is going to be and then obviously today when we get up and everything's going according to plan you know we're really excited about going um 
so yeah i don't know is that i don't is that a me thing i don't know if that's a me thing or just the kind of person that i am or i mean i'm quite laid back most of the time most of the time so maybe that's just part of my personality but i'm very guarded i think guarded is maybe the word um because i don't i don't ever want to see them get hurt by anything so i try and fend things back that was a bit deep going talking about panto to go into that but anyway so we're all very excited um about going to see the panto today something that we've not done together as a family at all like i said so yeah we're really really excited about going i used to um i used to go to the theater quite a lot and growing up my mum used to take me we obviously lived in cornwall excuse me we lived in cornwall my mum would take me up to plymouth um to the theater up there to see i remember going and seeing the ballet um to see pantos to see shows and then when i lived um down south when i was older um i lived in southampton we used to travel up to london quite a lot to see shows i saw um, miss saigon in drury lane um many years ago it was amazing um used to go and see concerts I've seen westlife quite, quite a few times um probably about six times actually uh i've been to see you know all sorts of things like that that i used to do when i was younger and single with you know without children and everything and it's um i used to love doing live shows theater all those sorts of things so it's been always been something that i wanted to do with the kids but obviously not all shows are suitable for children not all concerts are suitable for children um and then you know joseph i know that he 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 hopefully will be okay but um there's certain shows that I know that he wouldn't sit through. So there's always, sometimes, I don't know, there's always obstacles, isn't there? And sometimes they're put there by you and other times they're just, they're just there. But it's the right time. You know, it's the right time. Um, everything's pointing in the right direction. So it's going to be, it's going to be really, it's going to be really good fun. We're really excited. It's going to be really good fun. So we're going to get everybody ready and we're going to get on the road. Sullivan family, so we are well on our journey to Eden Court to watch Beauty and the Beast. We're all very, very excited. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, sorry. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. I'm sorry if it's my favourite film of all time. No, it's not. Anyway. <laughs> Yes, so we've just stopped at Tesco's to pick a few supplies up. A few supplies, a few uh, nibbles, a few drinks and all that kind of stuff to take in with us. A few sweeties. Um, but we're all very, very excited. And we're happy to take you on our little journey all the way to the pantomime. So we are very, very excited. So guys, we're going to pick a few things up in here. And then we'll be on our way again. I won't slow down Cause I am on my way 
am on my way I won't slow down I am on my way I won't slow down Jojo. Right, Exciting guys! So cool.
I want to go see Jack and the Beanstalk next year. Yeah, we've got all the lunchboxes. Right guys, we are back home and I have to say the pantomime, although I couldn't film it because you're really not allowed to film inside the pantomime at all. They are they they really notice if your phone's up. Um so they they tell people to put their phones down so you can't film at all, which is fair enough. And plus we wanted to watch it. And plus we really wanted to watch it. And I have to say it was absolutely brilliant. It was really, really good. Really good. Yes. Really, really good. good. Yeah. Really good fun, wasn't it, girls? Yeah. So we've brought these three down. They've just had their baths. We've got these three down to have a chat. Joseph's well too tired, so he's up in his bed. Um, but what did you think? Good. So what was your favourite bits then? Mine was the fairy godmother and the princess. Ah, uh, yeah. Leah? Her wig falling off. Oh, the <laughs> when his wig fell off, her wig yeah. fell off. Yeah. That was funny. That was Nurse Nettie and her wig fell off. I don't think it was meant to fall off. Was no, it, it wasn't. No. That was quite funny. It wasn't that wig. No. Agnes? Jester. Jester, yeah. And then one day we're fighting the dragon. Oh, oh yeah, that dragon. was good. They had a big mechanical dragon. The that dragon was really was, cool. Yes. I think that was Flo's favourite bit as it well. It was, definitely. Yeah. Florence so loved it. Florence oh, loved it. Wait, and the chicken. Oh, and the chicken. Oh, yeah, and the chicken. And the chicken. It was brilliant. It was really, really good. It was really, really good. It's just, um, it reminded me of all the things that I love about going to the theatre. And it's, these guys were just mesmerised, weren't they, watching it. They were just mesmerised. We had good seats as well, so that we were up at the back in the circle seats. But <clears throat> we kind of had um, a row of... 10 yeah and then and four, four in, the front. in front but there's only two rows in that anyway so there was you know not they're really nice seats really good, really seats. good seats um yeah. so we could see everything couldn't we yeah. yeah so it was a really good view we could see everything and we didn't get shot with any water pistols because we were yeah, yeah. at the top yeah because all the but people did, all the people down the front got shot with water pistols I did. they did I didn't they I wanted to. you wanted to get shot with a water pistol yeah. Yeah. i wanted to oh for <coughs> Excuse really me. Oh uh, yeah, it was just it was just paper, but it did look. Yeah, it did. So it was really so good, wasn't it? It was really really good, and we're so glad we did it. We're so glad we went, and we'll definitely do it again, won't we? Now you know what a panto is. Yeah. So it was. Do you want to go back again next year? Yeah, I uh, thought I thought it was like in Inverness. It was in Inverness. It was in Inverness. In Inverness. Yeah. But it's yeah. Eden Court, so it's it's like a big theatre in the middle of Inverness. And it was really, oh, it was so good. It was, I can't, it was I can't really good. More. I mean, even all the older ones enjoyed it as well, yeah, didn't they? They all they enjoyed did. it. They all thought it was funny. Did. And the, the good thing about Panto is that obviously it's great for kids. But I didn't it's good get for adults as well. There's lots Noah. of jokes in there. Noah thought No, even Noah thought it was funny. Even Noah mm -hmm. and Lizzie liked it. So everybody had a good day. Everyone Charlotte had a really, really good day. Charlotte liked it. Yeah, and Livia. Yeah, everybody and liked it. Flo was really, really good as well. She sat in her own little seat, bless her. But she wasn't. She wasn't heavy enough to keep the seat down, <laughs> so <laughs> Olivia had to put a leg on it. But Flo just wanted to stand up on the seat and eat sweets, and she loved it. She loved the dragon. She just kept calling it a dinosaur, but she really, really liked it. Joseph, there was something to be it. Joseph was a little bit um, during the first half. He didn't really want to watch, and I, he was. I think the, the loudness of it was kind of took him aback. But the second half. He, he was started getting into, into it, it didn't he? he? Yeah. Um, so he sort of stood and he watched. He was really, really good. These sorts of things, all these new things that we try with yeah. Joseph are yeah. sort of way out of, yeah. way out of his comfort zone, way out of our yeah. comfort zone with him to know how he's going to react. Yeah. Um, so it's all, you're always taking a little bit of a chance. Um, but then if we never do these things, then 
you know, everybody else, he doesn't get to join in with the rest of the family and the rest of the family don't get to do it. So it's kind of, you know, we have to minimise the effect it has on him. Um, But he did really, really well. He he was a bit kind of disorientated, but he did really, really well. And I think think if you asked him, he would say he enjoyed it. He wanted to go home by the end. Yeah. But he was really good. Yeah. He, um, He, as long as you sort of stay with him and like I held his hand the whole way through, he was... And just reassured him the whole way. He was he was really good. You keep was. pulling the camera away from my I can't, I'm sorry. The, the girls are leaning on my arm and I keep pushing it down <laughs> further and further. Sorry. It's but, just... um, yeah, no, it was, everybody had a really good day. Yeah. And they were all, you were all so well behaved. Really, really well behaved. And you had such fun, didn't you? Mm-hmm. We had McDonald's. We did have McDonald's on the way home. Yeah. On the way home. For we tea. did. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Excuse me a minute. <coughs> anyway, guys, that's it for today. Uh, another vlog coming to coming tomorrow, so we've got New Year's Eve tomorrow. Uh, we're not sure what we're doing Wait, yet. What's New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve, darling. And then the next day it'll be 2024. What, Hogmanay. Hogmanay in Scotland. <gasps> so it's New Year's Eve tomorrow. We're going to go out for a walk in the morning and then we'll see where we go from what's there, really. That you mean it's, it's 2020? Not, it's, it, 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 it's it's New, the last, New Year's Eve. Tomorrow is New last year, Eve, last day of 2023. The last day of December, 31st yep. of December tomorrow. So it's. And then on the following day, it will be so January. Today, so today is the third. What happens in January? Our birthday. Your birthday. Your birthday. And the daddy's. big one. And daddy's. The big birthday. And this is daddy's birthday is the January. The Guys, is your birthday is the 27th. Yeah. No, their birthday is the 25th. 20 years is. I thought there was. And it's your birthday. Your birthday's two days after our birthday. Yeah, that's it. So there's all four of you girls on the 25th, and then Daddy's two days after. My birthday is actually next to January. No, your birthday's in May. February, March, April, May. I can get a calendar. I know our birthday. We've gone totally off on a digression. Right, guys, that's it. That's it. That's it. Harry's left the building. We're going to wrap the video up now. So please subscribe to our channel, guys. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below. Follow us on our social media, our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And that just leaves us to say thank you so much, guys, for all of your support. Take care. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.